This video is about toxic chemicals in the environment and discusses the main sources of these substances and examples of their effects on exposed organisms. First, it is important to understand the sources of toxic substances that make their way into the environment. These sources can be natural or anthropogenic, which means that they come from human activity. Examples of these human sources include wastewater treatment plants, industrial facilities, and agriculture. One example of a natural source of toxic substances is algal blooms, which are associated with harmful toxins. Let's look at how substances like pharmaceuticals make their way into the environment. Upon using households or when they are directly thrown away in toilets or the sink, these drugs reach wastewater treatment plants, but most tr uh, treatment plants around the world do not have the technology to remove these substances from the treated wastewater, so they are discharged into surface waters like rivers and lakes. Pharmaceuticals for veterinary use also reach the environment primarily from agricultural runoff. Agricultural runoff is also responsible for the introduction of pesticides and other synthetic chemicals. Now, it is important to classify the toxic substances that reach the environment. Several people will classify any substance that causes toxicity as a toxin, but this is incorrect. Toxins are substances that originate from a biological source, like cyanotoxins from harmful algal blooms, or even snake venom. On the other hand, toxic substances originating from non-biological sources or from human activities are classified as toxicants, and examples include pesticides, pharmaceuticals, and metals. Organisms that live in contaminated areas end up taking in several toxic substances from the food they eat and the water they drink. Aquatic organisms like fish are among the most threatened organisms from the introduction of toxic chemicals into the environment. Now, what happens when organisms take up toxic substances? This depends on many chemical, biological, and even environmental factors. One way in which organisms deal with toxic chemicals is through metabolism or biotransformation. This means that certain biomolecules, like proteins, can modify the chemical structure of the substances and facilitate their excretion. Excretion is another way of dealing with chemicals and this can happen after a substance has been metabolized, or it can also happen for substances that do not undergo metabolism. Next, we have biological accumulation or bioaccumulation. This applies to chemicals that are fat-loving and water-hating. Therefore, instead of being excreted, these chemicals end up accumulating in different tissues, especially those with high fat content. Examples of these chemicals include metals, PCBs, and the most recent and famous perfluorinated compounds, like Teflon. Lastly, there is biological magnification or biomagnification. This is similar to bioaccumulation, but chemicals get more concentrated as they move up the food chain. Logically, organisms at the highest trophic levels are at higher risk, as they end up consuming all the chemicals that were accumulated in lower trophic levels. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Images and diagrams are from Campbell's Biology 11th edition unless otherwise stated. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all of the details you need to know about these services in our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For many information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.